What's up YouTube, it's Sidewalk bringing you something a little different today, a tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to install and set up the Elgato HD60 Pro game capture card. Uh, this is the one that's PCIe and um, it's supposed to have like the least amount of lag whenever you are capturing footage from your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. So I wanted to do this video because a lot of people were facing issues with this device and um, whenever they followed the directions and plugged it in and tried to start their PC it would not boot past the uh, little error screen and if you're wondering what that looks like I'll show you a little later in the video you could probably just fast forward to the end for that part but this is just to get you on the right track get you started so what you really want to do is you just want to go to Elgato uh, their website and then you want to download their drivers and support okay this is the first thing you really want to do so we'll go ahead and do this it's downloading and in the meantime while we're waiting for it to finish uh, I think there was another issue I can't remember there was something that happened with this and uh, Oh, well, it's not important. So what you're going to need is obviously your your card, you need two HDMI cables, your PC and your PlayStation or Xbox, whichever one you prefer. So now that we did this, let's go ahead and uh, install this. Yes, you accept. Help to improve. I really like to, to keep this unchecked. I don't know. I just feel like they're spying on me and you know it just bothers me but we'll no nah, we'll just we'll uncheck it if th for those of you who have shady habits probably shouldn't do that either I'm not saying i do i just <laughs> don't like that i like to turn all that off even on windows so let's go ahead yes stop that And uh, for all of you who are new to my channel, you already know that I only do one take in whatever I do. And I do this for one specific reason. Uh, the main reason being that if anything goes wrong or whatever happens, you will see it go down. And, you know, maybe I don't like editing the videos to the point to where I cut things out because there may I may encounter something that you may go through. And, you know why cut that out we go out this is all a learning process and we're all doing this together right right so this setup this installation should take only a few minutes uh <laughs> really it should only take like a couple of seconds but i don't know it's removing all this stuff so we'll see if it goes okay there it is so it's done we can hit finish all right, so now that we finished this part, what we want to do is restart the computer um, and then also install the card. So we're going to restart the computer first, install the card. This is what worked best for me. I hope it works for you too. And then um, we'll pick up where we left off in a few minutes. So um, I'll end the video, the first part of the recording here, and then we'll pick up later. Okay, so before you begin, you're going to need a few things. The first is your HD60 Pro. It comes with its own uh, HDMI um, cord and a little adapter in case you need that if you're not running a full-size case. And of course, you're going to need your own PC. And uh, now all we need to do is get the driver. So we'll go back to the screen and then we'll start that. So now that we installed it, let's go ahead and shut down. Actually, we'll just restart. Uh, let's let, let's just we'll shut it down first. That's just the same thing. So we're gonna shut it down, and then we'll go ahead and we'll plug it into. Actually, no, we have to do the restart anyway. Uh, let's just go ahead and stop these anyway. Uh, it doesn't matter. So we'll shut it down, restart, and then we'll shut it down again, and then we will install this shouldn't take too long uh, for me and hopefully not for you so there that's done let's go ahead and turn it back on yeah it's on and it should boot straight the windows
done. All right, let's go ahead and there we go. <clears throat> now that this is done, all right, so we will go ahead and re shut it down again, install the parts, and we'll be, we should be good to go. Shut down. Good. Now, let's get this HD60 and then we'll plug it in over here. This is difficult to do with one hand. Alright. Okay, so for me personally, I want to plug it in underneath the 1080 because I just like to have that space in there. Some people prefer it on the top, but we'll just have to keep this uh, on the bottom. There we go. All right, it's in there. I'll worry about tightening that up in a few minutes. So now let's go ahead and restart it again. Okay. And let's see if it actually gives us the error or if it boots up. Uh, some people did say that, um, not some people. Um, in my experience in the past, I did have to boot it twice. So, of course, the add on card, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm getting the error. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Lecture, let's run setup. Let's see what happens when we do that. I'm curious. Oh, we really don't need that. Oh, let's just exit. Okay. There it is. So we booted straight up the windows with the card installed. Perfect. So now all we have to do is make sure it runs. Not runs, but make sure everything goes okay. <clears throat> all right. So I'll go ahead and stop this here, and then we'll we'll go ahead and we'll we'll finish it. Actually, no, you know what? Let's run it from here. Let's see if it even boots. Not boots, but that's Steam. And there it goes. Does it detect the card, though? Connect your game capture device to get started. Did it not even detect this thing? No the capture device is found. So now we have to figure out our way around that. So let's stop it here and then I'll probably, I'll just have to update this video and we'll see where, and I'll explain what I did next. All right, welcome back YouTube. So I decided to try something different. Um, so the last time we did this, so we installed the card, tried to download the software, didn't work. Downloaded the software first, installed the card, didn't work. But one thing I totally forgot was the driver. So let's go to Elgato and let's see if they have any drivers. Of, oh, it looks like they do. Okay, so we're going to install these drivers and then we'll see how things turned out. Mm, for some reason, that single click didn't work. And there they go. Let's install here. Yes, driver version, install. completed next installation successful so now that we have the drivers installed now let's see if the game capture actually uh, detects the, the system the card itself and still no capture device found hmm. okay so from here I, I don't know we'll have to find and we'll try something else uh, this is why I only do one take actually you know what 
let's restart the PC first and then we'll come back here and let's see what happens then. Be back in a sec. Welcome back everyone. So we now have the actual device found as you can see on the screen here. We have the Game Capture HD60 Pro. It's capturing the actual video um, and sound, but I'm not really gonna worry about the sound. I really wanna talk about the actual issue of the device being found. And in order to do that, I'm gonna have to show you some diagrams so you'll know, okay? So whenever you're using, um, I'm using the ASUS Strix 270E board, okay? And um, this may not be the case with every single board, but this is the case with this board. Um, so in order for this HD60 Pro to actually work and be found by your PC, it needs to be in a PCIe 3.0 device, okay? You have on mine, I have one, two, three, four 2.0s, and then one, two, three 3.0 devices, okay? These 3.0 devices are the ones you want to have the card plugged into. Um, any other device, it's just not going to find it. Sorry, that's just how it is. But no worry, you know, if you're using the newer boards, you'll have more than enough space for a second card, you know, and you'll still have plenty of room for expansion, of course. All right, so uh, I think that's the biggest issue that a lot of people are finding. I, that was the case with mine. I tested the products out in um, every single slot, and this is the one that was working, these three. Okay, so 3.0 slots are go, 2.0 slots are a no-go. So now that that's out the way, um, I guess we can go ahead and finish on with the tutorial of the setup. So basically, once you have the card installed, okay, before you even go to your PlayStation, and bring it over to your PC and plug it in, you want to turn on your PlayStation and then you want to go to settings, okay? So go to settings and then you want to go to system settings. When you're in there, you want HDCP, this option right here will be checked. What you want to do is you want to uncheck this selection, okay? And then after you do that, you want to go to sound and screen and then you want to go to video output settings okay resolution you actually want to change this to 1080p okay right now it's set to automatic i don't know why but you want to set it to 1080p and then you want to make sure hdr is off okay once you do that all you have to do is back out and Unplug your PlayStation, bring it to your PC or your Xbox. Uh, I can only do this for PlayStation, so I'm sorry for the Xbox people. I don't have Xbox One. Thought about getting one in the future. If I do, I'll make an updated video for this. So for PlayStation, um, what you want to do is you want to take your two HDMI cables. The first cable, let's pull up the uh, Elgato HD60 so you can actually see what I'm talking about. All right, images. Okay, so on the back of your device, you will see in and you will see out, okay? Uh, usually some people can figure this out on their own. I don't want you to have to experiment. So you wanna take the HDMI cable from your PlayStation and plug that into the in. Then you wanna take your other HDMI cable and you wanna plug that into out and then you want to take that and plug it directly into your TV or monitor or whatever you're using to view the actual video for the PlayStation, okay? Once you do that, you are good to go. All you have to do is just make sure that the Elgato is running and the video is found. And then usually on the bottom of your monitors, you can switch to the HDMI um, for video of actual, I mean, of the raw video for your... Um, for your uh, capture footage. Um, so testing this and seeing, going back and forth, so you can't see this. If I need to, I'll, I'll show this on my phone. Um, there is a slight lag with the, uh, from what you see on the actual monitor. 
like what in the screen capture and what you actually really see on um, the screen that you're using but it's ever so slight um, if you're playing a story game I don't think it's really that much of a difference um, if you're playing in a competitive game like Overwatch or Call of Duty it could be an issue if you just have to have like the least amount of response ever but honestly it's so it's so minuscule you really can't tell the difference and i don't think you should even worry about that but that's it that's all for this tutorial that's all for the video if you enjoyed it if you found this video helpful you know make sure you leave a, a comment and you know let me know it was helpful for, helpful for you and you know always it's appreciated when you like and subscribe to the videos because it lets me know what to upload next and uh, to keep content fresh so as always uh, make sure you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video peace so in case you're wondering what happens if you follow Elgato's directions if you just go ahead and plug it in like the box says and then start on the newer boards you'll get this error yeah right here so there's no way to get around this the only thing you can do is actually go about it the long way and then I'll show you that but this was just for reference and now we'll get back to the video.